All right, everybody, welcome to the first module in the introduction to the deep web. In this module, we'll be discussing the deep web versus the dark web and learning the difference between the two. To start off, we'll compare the deep web to the surface web. Now, compared to the whole of the internet, the deep web consists of over 95% of all the data out there. The deep web is everything that's not publicly accessible, and these are things like bank accounts, your Dropbox storage, private databases, your email, your Facebook messages, anything that you can't just access uh, with a Google link or something like that. You have to have special permissions. Um, and when you're talking about the dark web, the dark web is actually only a small part of the deep web where sites are purposely hidden. The deep web is over 95% of the internet, like we said before, and it's estimated to be around 7.5 petabytes of information, while the surface web is only about 20 terabytes. Another way to look at it is using this circle here, which represents all of the internet. Here in this blue circle, we have the surface web, which contains search results, social networks, mobile sites, anything that you can access with a link. And then we have the deep web, which is everything else. Dynamic web pages, blocked sites, unlinked sites, private sites, limited access networks, sites on dark nets and alternative routing, and so on and so forth. So what's the difference between the deep web and the dark web? Like we said before, the dark web and deep web are very different things. The dark web consists of purposely hidden sites like drug markets, whistleblower sites, activist sites, and more. It is very small compared to the rest of the internet, estimated at only 0.03%. But for such a small section, it has a lot of traffic. The Silk Road, a once prominent drug marketplace, did over 1.2 billion in sales during a two year run, which is an unheard of amount for such a small site. So by now you should have a better understanding of what exactly the deep web and the dark web are. Commonly when you are talking about the deep web, you usually mean the dark web because people mean the part of the internet that's hidden where criminals hide or there's drugs for sale. That's the dark web. When you say deep web, it's referring to things like your Facebook messages, your email. These are all part of the deep web. So the deep web is not actually this scary thing that some people make it out to be. This course and all the other courses found on darkwebacademy.com do focus on the dark web, how to use that side of the internet. Uh, obviously, there's not much to say about the deep web because you access it almost every day. In the next module, we'll discuss a little bit more about the deep web versus the dark web and go over some of the most common myths about the two and uh, why they're not true.